magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga lady na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw, lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang Leksyo Divina sa kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spiritu, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyon Divina. Sa Leksyo Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyo, ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso, bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento, ang mga taong nakasangkot, mga salitang ginamit, ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari na saan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin. Sa mga narinig natin sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya, ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos, ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi, ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito, mga kapatid, ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay? At itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Lectio Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine, you are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Lectio Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the peace and healing in our country. We pray for all the birthday celebrants today, especially for Brother Romy Reyes. We also pray for our Brother Lasalet priests who are celebrating their anniversary today. Father Jansen Ronquillo, Father Marlon Dolar, and their companions. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Convert us, O God, our Savior, and struck our minds by heavenly teaching that we may benefit from the works of land through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord, your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of a blind. But you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak, nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your skin, your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart, Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, words Lord, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your, Your words, words, Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, who you are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen. I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me. You are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs, he will answer them, Amen. I say to you, what you did not do for one of these little ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a gift greater than creation, and that is the gift of the Incarnation. Because in the Incarnation, God Himself became the gift. The Incarnation is God's decision to embrace us, to be one with us. My suffering is your suffering. My joy will be your joy. Ito ang dahilan bakit si Jesus ay naging tao para sa atin. At ngayon nagaganap ang isang napakagandang pagdiriwang ng ugnayan kung saan ang Diyos at ang tao nagpinagkakaisa sa isang malalim na paraan. Kung saan ang nararamdaman ng bawat tao, nararamdaman ni Kristo. Ang kanyang ligaya Ligaya ni Kristo, ang kanyang paghihirap, paghihirap ni Kristo. Ang ating kamatayan, naging kamatayan din ni Kristo. Ano man ang ating ginagawa sa ating kapatid, ginagawa natin sa Diyos. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. 
I was thirsty and you gave me drink, a stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me, in prison and you visited me. Whatever we do to every brother and sister, we do it to the Lord. It is the mystery of oneness. Nararamdaman ni Jesus ang anumang nararamdaman ng bawat tao. Kaya dito pumasok ang kanyang pananalita. Ano man ang gawin mo sa iyong kapwa, ginagawa mo rin sa akin. Allow the Spirit of Lent awaken us to the sacred reality of oneness. Awaken us to the sacred reality of solidarity. Kapag niyayakap natin ang bawat tao, lalo na ang mga kawawa at walang wala, ang niyayakap natin ay ang Diyos. Sapagkat ang puso ng Diyos at ang puso ng bawat tao pinagkaisa sa malalim na karanasang ang tawag pag-ibig. Amen. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That our church leaders continue to be committed in their concern for the poor, especially among the migrants and their families, we pray. Listen, Listen to, to our, our prayer, prayer, O Lord. That our civil leaders do their best to serve the people entrusted to them, mindful also of their responsibility to take care of their migrants and their families, we pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That overseas Filipino workers be continually accompanied by God as they work and live in foreign lands, especially in moments of temptation to abandon their religious and cultural values, we pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That the young lessen the burden of age carried by the elderly and bring them joy by the respect, care, patience, and love, we pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. That Grieving families left behind by the demise of overseas workers find comfort in the assurance that their loved ones are now peacefully in God's kingdom. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to our prayer, O Lord. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy May Lord. this devout oblation be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us your conciliation and pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Enlighten the minds of your people, Lord, we pray, with the light of your glory, that they may see what must be done and have the strength to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the all-loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. remain in you always. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.